Yo, what's going on, guys? Gina from Rockabout Sound, and in this video, we're gonna be recreating the main bass from Weathen's track, Savage. And this is what it sounds like. <laughs> So I know it's not too too complex of a bass, but it's exactly the same as the original track. And go ahead and check it out if you don't believe me. But anyways, drop a like if you guys like that sound. It really just helps to keep in the tutorials coming. Uh, by the way guys, if you guys want free presets or if you want to share your own presets for free, go ahead and click our Reddit page. Link's going to be at the top of the description. Uh, once you get there, you're just going to be able to download free stuff or submit your own free stuff. And actually, if you guys think you have a really, really cool bass preset, you can go ahead and click the contest, read the description of the contest, and submit your own preset into the contest. And basically, it'll have a chance to be featured in a tutorial as well as all of your SoundCloud links and a huge shout out to yourself. So, go ahead and submit your best sound. Links at the top of the description to the contest and the Reddit page. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right into this. So, as I mentioned, not a complex bass at all. You know, it gets the job done for the partic particular song. Um, it's not really my style of music, but I'm trying to change it up with the tutorials just a little bit. Um, you know, throw in a little future, deep house, all that good stuff. So, anyways, Oscillator A, we're going to stick to a Monster 8, let's go with. And uh, as we just cycle through the wave tilt position, you're gonna notice that it does sound very, very uh, on the metallic sound because it's actually Monster 7 just squarified. Fun fact, or Monster 9 squarified, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn on frequency modulation from oscillator B, and this is really what's gonna get us started. So into oscillator B, we're going to select another square-ish waveform, and that's going to be a BSOD square. So it's basically a variation, um, but still sounding like a square, if I play this by itself. And um, one thing that you're going to notice is as we turn up the... Fr by the way, I'm dropping this level down because the sound is going to be outputted through oscillator A, since it is the host for the frequency modulation. As we turn up the frequency modulation we start to lose those metallic properties um, altogether. You know, there's no pitch differential, so altogether we're just kind of creating a nice, a nice soft sound. You know, there's no real technical um, reasoning behind these two waveforms. It's really just they produce a, a soft, warm sound when they combine. So that's what we're doing here. So LFO2, low frequency oscillator number one, we're gonna go ahead and stick onto the frequency modulation or the warp knob. And from here, we can just kind of create our first LFO shape. And that's when we're gonna put this on trigger and stick that on one fourth. Oops, not one eighth. Hold on a sec. There we go, one fourth. Okay, so now into oscillator B. Oh yeah, that, that's all we have to do, honestly. Um, oscillator B, we're just gonna stick on a, actually, you know, we might as well just modulate the level just a little bit, you know, give us a little bit more movement because it is a very basic sound. Um, all we're going to do here is squish these frequencies and the waveform itself all together towards the middle. And as you can see, as we really scrunch it up, it does kind of start to bring out a uh, more sloppy high end ish kind of sound. It's kind of hard to explain, but um, you can definitely hear the individual um, cycles of the sound a lot better as the as the waveform itself is getting scrunched so uh yeah we're just going to leave it around there and yeah that's all we have for oscillator a and oscillator b into the filter we're just going to go ahead and turn on into our flanges we're going to select a phase 12 negative and we're going to set this cutoff all the way down to about 20 hertz, maybe a little bit more than that. I don't know. It doesn't really matter uh, specifically. So we're really just going to turn this up to however open the sound that we want it to be. We're going to leave it about, um, as we turn up to 50, what is this, around 1,200 hertz. That works. And then, of course, turn up the resonance, bring us a little bit higher of an effect. And then maybe a little bit of drive. Uh, then 
turn on that mix that way we're not cutting out all these frequencies as we're all the way down here we're just leaving a little bit open so we do get a little bit crisper of a sound okay so into the voicing we're just going to turn on mono legato and then turn the portamento up to about you know one second maybe it doesn't have to be it's all up to you to be honest with that it's just light work okay into the hyper and the dimension all we're going to do here turn on hyper turn this bad boy up all the way now into the dimension we're going to turn the size down to three percent and then turn the mix to about fifty percent eq we're just going to boost the high end and uh yeah we just kind of move the cutoff and that's really the sound all i did here was i duplicated the layer and then just made a little bit of a variation just a tad bit i moved around a couple different knobs and together these two sound like <laughs> And that's really all it took to make that bass. I know that's a really simple sound, and we normally do a lot of complex sounds on this channel, but um, yeah, that's really all it took. So I'm Shane from Rockabout Sound, and thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, drop a like if you haven't already, and hit that subscribe button because we got loads of awesome tutorials on a weekly basis. I'm Shane from Rockabout Sound, and I'm checking out.